how that is like a subset or sublet of what you call this like a, some kind of a pavlovian method of training behavior in people all right i have described it before and maybe i might get into it again in the future but right now i'm focusing on operant conditioning negative and and positive reinforcement god uses it across the scriptures and it has succeeded to train his disciples to either walk from sin or to chase after righteousness delayed gratification is taught us by delaying reward upon giving us milestones to strive for that are godly at the end of which we then get this bountiful reward in the end it's written in god's word that neither eye has seen nor ear heard nor mind conceived the things which god has prepared for those who wait for him okay that is a form of reward for delayed gratification all right god is all about those principles those concepts but people did not go all the way to the end remember 180 degrees instead of 360 they only did half the way and worshiped the creation instead of the creator so they worshiped the orphanim angel or rather the atom instead of the creator and even then not fully did they acknowledge the importance of the atom as being the rudimentary foundational building blocks look guys the invisible qualities of god are so all over creation they're all over man never mind just in the atom but even the normal distribution the fibonacci sequence the pi constant so much but right now we're speaking about the atom it's another story for another day right all these things people are ignoring and god has been training us as disciples to basically wait for what it is that is reward and then to avoid do you understand what i'm saying avoid wickedness that we might uh what do you call this not inherit a punishment so that is negative reinforcement so god punishes our sins so that we will next time just not go out like that and the punishments are dire they're severe look at david his behavior was altered it was changed his complacency in sin was eradicated and augmented so basically his behavior altered because of his sin with bathsheba being punished the sword never left his household in a contrite fashion he wrote psalm 51 but before then david as a child of god was out here walking around in an indiscretion that he had no interest in correcting he felt all good about himself pumped up because he imagined that god was not going to punish that indiscretion with bathsheba but he did so david learned the hard way and did better going forward similarly to samson negative reinforcement god punished him for his indiscretion with delilah god punished him for his indiscretion with with delilah his sexual sin and as a result of that punishment samson pined 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 realized that god was dealing him a bad blow and then finally woke up his eyes and said god please in the end of my life seeing as i'm gonna die i get it all right this is gonna end this is not gonna end well for me but please give me back my strength so that i can be able to destroy the philistines in my dying negative reinforcement retrained samson that you don't just give your valor and your strength to other people to other men you know how it's described in the proverbs by solomon that do not give your strength to other men don't give your your, your virtue your valor your everythingness your bourgeoisie as a man to other men uh do do not squander yourself on the property of another man like another man's wife and also don't let a, a woman that is another woman's another man's wife to come and squander you always enjoy the breast of the wife of your youth don't let random mere mortals on the left and on the right squander your virtue that's what solomon said and he didn't even take his own advice but anyway that's another story for another day negative reinforcement teaches people that you don't just get to do what you want to do for this is the whole of the law alistair crowley and there not be consequences ramifications consequence management essentially god trains christians through negative and positive reinforcement he either fosters righteousness in us through punishing us for walking in sin or rewarding us for being righteous uh joseph was an example a beautiful perfect one of positive reinforcement so solomon was negative reinforcement he didn't even take his own advice you know what happened at the end of his life uh samson negative reinforcement david negative reinforcement joseph however positive reinforcement he was patient he did not fornicate with potiphar's wife he endured hardship for a world that is out here rewarding sin so Potiphar's wife was rewarded like the upside upside down version of what happened with David with Joseph sorry Potiphar's wife was rewarded by the imprisonment of an innocent person just like what happened at MTN all of those staff members all of those people that lied about me they were rewarded for their wickedness that's how behavior on the earth is trained to people they teach them to have no regard for that which is right or wrong just that which is convenient 
but God hates unequal scales and that whole upside down phenomenon. He literally will not take it in his stride, right? So Potiphar's wife were like my former colleagues at MTN and the whole structure that got me fired from my job, making me unemployed today. 10 years later, do you understand? They got positively reinforced in wickedness. They were maintained in a grain of sucky dupe. Just like Potiphar's wife, who likely, after Joseph got taken to prison, was made more arrogant in her insanity. That's a person that's handed over to a debased mind. When, when, when the world that positively reinforces, in other words, it rewards you for evil. When that world, when you don't get called back from that, you are an illegitimate, you don't belong to God. Those of you all that call yourselves Bazalwani, and yet God did not discipline you for persecuting a Christian or for doing witchcraft or for fornicating or for masturbation, whatever might be the thing in question that you are doing right now, if you did not get handles for that, you are not David. David was called out of his insanity by Nathan. God sent for him. Negative reinforcement, he was punished. So if you did not get punished for your wickedness, you're an illegitimate, you're not a child of God. Not only that, you're in danger just perpetually from the God who created all principles and all concepts for you to discover, for you to search them out. The Lord is the one that raised up prophets all over the show to warn you of what's coming. And when then you ignore negative reinforcement, punishment. But if you don't get punished, you are left, okay? Debased mind. Is that basic? You are just left to basically perish in your sins, even though you knew what you were doing was wrong, just like it's written in first uh, in Romans 1. Not only do you know that what you do, what you're doing deserves punishment, it deserves death. Not only do you continue to do it, but you approve of others who do the same thing. N positive reinforcement for wicked behavior. The condemnation of the righteous with the acquittal of the wicked. You're not going to get away with it. But the Lord took Joseph and trained him even in prison. Joseph of which walked in delayed gratification. It's written in God's word that hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. Joseph therefore likely was very sick in his heart but he never dropped the ball and look at the bountiful reward he received in the end he waited and indeed neither i saw nor mind heard nor mind no no mind no ear heard no mind conceived that which david uh, joseph ultimately inherited positive reinforcement god rewarded his delayed gratification uh, looking at his his uh, patience god made him mount up with wings like eagles run and not faint walk and not grow weary god remembered him and God gave him Manasseh so that he could forget the pain of his father's household. Joseph is the best, best, best example of positive reinforcement that I can think of in the Bible. Others that come close are Hannah. She prayed and prayed and prayed in uh, a hope that is deferred, making her heart sick, yet never sinned. And what does she get in the end? The reward, baby Samuel. Many more. And in the end, she also wrote that psalm. In the end, she wrote that, 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 that beautiful song to God, praising him for giving her children. That was Hannah. Uh, we then can also um, give praise to the Lord for, uh, what is this? There was another person that I was thinking about that uh, is eluding me right now. But basically just like delayed gratification that God then ultimately rewarded. It's all over the scriptures. A combination of a mix of both positive and negative reinforcement. You find it in the case of, uh, who do you call this? Um, Sarah and Abraham, the whole Isaac thing. We all know what in the world under heaven happened because of their indiscretion and the inability to wait. The whole Haman, not Haman, but Hagar and Ishmael thing happened because of just being in a rush. Sarah was punished for that. She was. And it brought a severity of pain, frankly, to the world at large because the religion of Islam stems from that, that particular uh, situation. We are still today at war, negative reinforcement, because of Sarah's impatience and Abraham's impatience. The whole Sarah, yeah, you get my point. But then later on, eventually, delayed gratification she got rewarded with Isaac God has been training his children how he wants them to be over and over and over and again using operant conditioning reward and punishment but understand that the same way that the world conditions behavior into people sorry though the, the same way that God conditions our godliness by punishing wickedness like uh, thinking about modern day examples like if you sin if you fall into like if you swear you feel so much like trash if you fornicate after being celibate for a season you feel so much like trash like your whole world falls apart um if you you get my point there are punishments that we endure and they ultimately foster the right behavior later on but similarly too when you wait and you wait even though you don't know what's coming for you you have enough to run with in history to understand for the life of you that this year is going to pay off you know that it's eventually going to pay off. So when you know that it's going to pay off, why would you drop the ball when you've got so much evidence that delayed gratification rewards in the end? He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So we get it. I'm unemployed and I've been unemployed for a decade, but I am innocent. And the world has conditioned the world 
to basically behave a particular way around me by punishing anyone who would support me and by also rewarding anyone that would deride my name anyone that would revile my name anyone that would treat me like smack the world is supporting them it is written in god's word in the book of first peter uh in the book of first peter 4 from 12 so you can understand how eerily accurate our experiences are under god beloved think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange thing happened to you but rejoice but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of christ's sufferings that when his glory shall be revealed ye may be glad also with exceeding joy so we look forward to having the glory of christ revealed in us for waiting but before then the very weird bizarre stuff that's happening to me right now happens in that you go through stuff that's so whack that you think it is strange first peter 4 12 beloved think it not strange concerning the fiery trial it is absolutely bizarre the level of disrespect i am enduring it's strange but god says don't consider it strange and in the end i will be rewarded positive reinforcement for righteousness even though the earth is punishing me for holding on to christ upside down you are the triangle we are the full circle we are the full circle do you understand we go all the way to jesus but you stop at maslow's hierarchy of needs at freud's theory of the psyche you stop at classical conditioning you stop at operant conditioning without realizing that these things are lent from god it is the glory of god to conceal a matter and the glory of man is to search it out so we understand world that's what i'm getting at right now that you have afflicted me by rewarding rubbish against my person you have afflicted me by awarding it to people that feel in that they can carry on in their insanity even though the invisible qualities of god are all over creation against me we understand that you have trained the earth to hate me but I serve the full circle. I serve an eternal God. I serve the originator of the concepts you discovered but did not go all the way in finishing your studies. You are the university dropout in spiritual terms. You, you only did half the job and didn't finish. You are afflicting me global citizenship because the world afflicts me and it is training behavior. Do you understand what I'm saying? In people, the, the affliction of my person is, is training behavior in people to essentially carry on in this like insatiably lunatic disposition yeah boy uh. oh that's my cat anyway yeah alrighty so come on no uh so i just want to have this discussion unfortunately oh, very windy but y'all just gonna have to deal take it in your stride yes i was speaking about um negative reinforcement and positive reinforcement and how it is that it's actually really from god and the lord too just like you on earth have a system of rewards and punishment unfortunately because the earth is corrupt the punishment is of the righteous while the rewards are of the wicked i endured an operant conditioning cycle of abuse from earthlings in 24 2014 and it cost me a, a whole entire career my whole life and for 10 years i've been disrespected like i'm an infant all right but in the same way that i was disrespected by negative reinforcement back in the day in the same way that i was disrespected by negative reinforcement back in the day uh, by positive reinforcement sorry of wicked behavior i too am trained to be maintained in godliness by the same operant conditioning but it's god this time around that i'm looking at it's about the kingdoms don't you see there are no other kingdoms but two the kingdom of god and then the kingdom of darkness i belong to the kingdom of heaven and where it is that i am from the country that i am going to be restored to recovered to in the sky heaven yeah we don't take lightly to sin we don't take lightly to wickedness we don't just allow ourselves to get swayed by every wind of doctrine from the earth we don't just let ourselves get taken away by the tsunami of that which is obviously wrong we don't ignore our consciences the invisible qualities of god all over creation um the law of god written on our hearts we don't just ignore that we don't just ignore how we feel about a situation. Whenever a guilty conscience is beating down on us, we hearken to it. When we feel like trash for walking like trash, I'm sorry for the wind. When we feel like trash for walking like trash, we appropriately respond to the trashy sentiment. In other words, we don't just let ourselves run rampant in these streets wild with do what thy wilt for that is the whole of the law because that's what's getting rewarded. 
Look at what's happening with social media. For instance, it's all very unfortunate. Mark Zuckerberg appears to be getting a little bit of a resuscitation, but we can't trust it until it's done its full um, rounds, until it has done a one. 80 completely until the man has had a metanoic experience and taken after elon musk we can't trust that mark zuckerberg is having an awakening because like yeah because he's having some kind of reaction he's guilty <laughs> mark zuckerberg is guilty right obviously so <laughs> he's busy doing interviews praising trump first and he's doing interviews talking about how during the days i had to come outside to get more privacy during the days of the global pandemic he felt some kind of way uneasy uncomfortable and guilty and was unhappy with how global governments were trying to basically uh, mess up with people's freedom of expression so zaki zaki of facebook who also was um, is among those that have shadow banned me feels bad for shadow banning me clearly to a point of making a statement okay mark zuckerberg feels uncomfortable with censorship it is clear he's just recently done an interview with joe rogan and written some big letter speaking about how it is that he's not happy that meta which owns also instagram is essentially participating in the mutiny against people's liberties on earth but he hasn't done a 180 <clears throat> A full 180 he hasn't switched he hasn't turned he hasn't changed completely and so because he hasn't changed completely i can't trust that mark zuckerberg is going to give me back my facebook page yet all right but he certainly is feeling some kind of way he's like basically he's doing what elon musk did okay he's speaking the things that elon musk was speaking before buying twitter so maybe we might have facebook and instagram back from the like depths of hell of censorship maybe we might get that back but we don't know until such time that we don't get them back i can never do anything that makes any sense at all on any social media platform but mark zuckerberg's is well except for twitter but mark zuckerberg's this little change of heart that is presently looking like a little bit of a you know a recovery a pal a, a, a sign a beat a, where before there was nothing but a flat line mm is the very thing that i'm talking about right now your consciences speak a different volume your consciences say a different thing your consciences agree to a different drum sing to the beat of a different drum but you are doing whatever you want to do anyway you are doing whatever is being rewarded by a warped society full of men whose hearts are deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. You're running with evil that is obviously evil, provably evil. Just like my dossier of evidence saying that Karabo is innocent and yet an entire plethora of staff members at MTN refusing to acknowledge such a reality as that. Complete disregard of that which is right. It's not gonna do anything for you eventually. It's what I'm getting at, y'all. Can try one guy on a eo more life thing. Can try get rasa sang modi rufung tel about. I am lamenting about the fact that people who are obviously wrong literally seriously think they got something on me, only because the world is rewarding them for their wrong activity. I don't want to go up this deep. Yeah, yeah. Please down. I can't go up this deep into the hema. Ngaren na ke chobets. Ngaren na ke chobets aka chobal. I don't want to go up a steep. So you should tell me more. Mara, how are you? And I'm going to go to the This this wind, earth, wind, and fire, is distracting me. Yeah, Mark Zuckerberg's little attack of a conscience, big fat giant global elite attack of a conscience, has caused him to say things on Joe Rogan's show and write little emails and whatnot, write little letters that are telling us maybe there's hope for us on Facebook. After all, um, people are doing little short getting videos of him basically coming around and saying that hey hey like donald trump his survival of a bullet at the ear was really inspirational to me what a what a fish paste okay so mark like i said mark zuckerberg it, it looks like there's a defibrillation and electricity pulse hitting his heart okay so maybe I'll just woo, chill over here. Langa, who is the king? When I did the issue sitting at and Jeffel Mosfat thinks in Kifilanka is what they say, Jack and Nabatova and Jeffel like a blomer one position. Kisa is the next. Kisa is the next. Mamelang, how to bring Mopilas Fatty, Moya, oh, one district, a manumata, umata, Kifilanka on a little in the background. You know how it gets when it's too windy all over i will try and vocalize myself above the wind uh, and i i will try to be um 
you get my point yeah mark zuckerberg okay i guess what a gay guy now walk in that particular direction the thing that's going on inside the oh this wind this wind this wind is gonna mess so badly with with the quality of the audio but anyway whatever mark zuckerberg the thing that he is his little um recovery whatever's going on right now with him is exactly the thing that i'm talking about like some of y'all some of the people that are listening to me they're gonna get their bread butter on both sides why face this thing running around an athletics patch because they think they cast us in you're like mark zuckerberg just not yet arrived at the place of defibrillation you are thoroughly very disquieted like horrifically disquieted by what you're doing because the invisible qualities of god all over creation you see the atomic structure all over the the, the galaxies <laughs> the galaxy you see god's invisible fingerprint you see the fibonacci sequence and the glory and the beauty of the proportionality of a human face and a human arm and a human body to see that god built it you see the pi constant you see the atom <laughs> your consciences are speaking volumes moya yo 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 you see everything every everything that you can possibly see like born do you understand what i'm saying and yet you are choosing to ignore you're indecisive you're indecisive about your own souls the state of your own hearts the conditions of your own circumstances you are literally disregarding them even though you know like with mark zuckerberg that censorship is just wrong it's just wrong it's just wrong We'd like go empty and somebody had to have known Hore, you're firing an innocent woman 10 years later she's still unemployed 10 years later i guess still doesn't have izaga 10 years later I got 10 years later I got Nabantwana. 10 years like literally a whole decade has come and gone and you're still sitting on your nonsense you know why because operant conditioning positive reinforcement you've been rewarded for evil the system of the world that is satanic has been rewarding evil and the road guys is narrow that leads to life and few people find it so basically long story short the majority of people are lost the majority of the citizenship of the earth is lost meaning that the majority of the world can be classic can be socially conditioned negatively reinforced when they support christians or positively reinforced when they hate us the world hates disciples on a very similar principle when a society is out you're punishing people for standing with what is right people will be disincentivized from continuing in that fashion people will be disincentivized from carrying on with their little rescue missions if you want to call it that i have a person in my life i can say what i saying that is literally trying to surveil me control what i say or don't say in order for me to get a job and even though this person has not said it in so many words i see it with their behavior how they have basically stayed their hand from supporting me or continuing to help me along with a job because i refused to stop blogging writing vlogging doing videos about my life and sharing even the fact that i got a job the individual in question vocalized it made it clear through a whatsapp so i confirmed that which i suspected she made it clear through a whatsapp that she was disquieted and frenzied with a lack of happiness by the fact that i said i got a job and here it is that we're entering into september and i still have not clocked into my nine to five Mundokona of which had promised me a job so i am frenetic i am frenzied i am nervous i am scared out of my mind follow on the internet that are following me do you understand roaring lines seeking whomever he may devour because i am being like gun to my head basically bullied to ditch my ministry if i'm gonna get a job i'm sorry there's no there is no voice that i want to proliferate other than the voice of christ i'm a christian i love the lord how <laughs> that defines who i am other than my relationship with christ it is written in his word that in him we move in him we live and in him we have our being how and satisfying so how that can ever succeed 
so when people then threaten me with punishment if i don't behave a certain way i recognize this social conditioning i recognize this operant conditioning for what it is i see it i see that i am being negatively reinforced shutting up about jesus i'm being negatively reinforced but you see we don't just react to every whim of the planet every whim of the world we go by the scriptures we walk by faith and not by sight we delay gratification because we are right way up while the world is upside down the world rewards wickedness and punishes righteousness i am being punished for righteousness and for trumpeting a voice on the rooftops about what it is that god is doing and is likely going to keep on doing tomorrow i am being punished for holding fast to that which makes sense but you see there are two kingdoms and i belong to the one that's opposite the one that punishes righteousness it's not like i'm left out on a limb that's what's good it's not like i've been left to dry like sehwaba on the side of the street like bildong no i am just delayed gratification waiting for the right kingdom to appropriately respond to righteousness i am waiting for the kingdom of heaven to appropriately respond to long suffering to patience to diligence still diligent seeking of god to naysaying of the world in valor the bible says we must endure evil patiently i am waiting for the right kingdom to appropriately respond to that to the fact that i have endured evil patiently i am waiting for the kingdom i have chosen to reward me for righteousness because the kingdom of darkness has for an entire decade ignored that i'm innocent The world hates disciples. But if Mark Zuckerberg could write an email about how he felt uncomfortable about silencing people during the pandemic, if Mark Zuckerberg can do a little bit of a, you know, heartbeat reg- registering on the monitor type behavior, if Mark Zuckerberg could get there and he's a global elite, what under heaven are Lay Janes and Lay Joes? I told you guys that all that I need to do a better thing where I am concerned is not so much the minions of Egypt. I do not need the minions of Egypt that don't need slaves in Egypt or a uh, middle class of Egypt to do better by me as Joseph all I need is Pharaoh. All I need is Pharaoh. That's what you'll need to understand. People are so arrogant that have been classically or socially thinking up and conditioned into walking in wickedness. They're so arrogant during a time when they're being rewarded as a circus, as a clown, a concert, when they're busy being rewarded for hurting innocent people, bashanya without realizing Well, sometimes the king and the queen are disquieted in their bed. They can't sleep over the fact that they they keep on beating the peasants to a pulp. All that an oppressed minority need is the repentance of one powerful man, not the repentance of a concert of people that have enjoyed the fruit of corruption. All that I need is essentially like what in the heaven is going on with Mark Zuckerberg. Like Elon Musk has been a little bit of a role model, I believe. to Mark Zuckerberg. The reason I say that is because you see when a person is walking in wickedness when people are walking in w- wickedness oftentimes it takes the one brave person to stand against the majority for everybody else to basically start hearkening to their consciences. A group think mentality. Uh, a frenzied little ugly mindset of thinking that you can control everyone in the world around you. Sometimes it gets recovered or healed. Sometimes it gets recovered. or healed by the one person in the room that's doing better. I would imagine I mean I told you guys the other day that Meta or Instagram slash Facebook all that jazz is tracking behind Mark Zuckerberg. No not Mark who says uh, Elon Musk at the Twitter X. X is doing better than Meta right now in terms of its numbers, the stock prices are rising etc. That's the kind of stuff that will make Mark Zuckerberg look at the world and be like they're not ready for this level of tyranny. People are not ready to just be told what to do. People are not ready to be silenced. People are walking away from Facebook. People are walking away from I'm uploading on Instagram. People are starting Instagram accounts and they're deciding not to carry on with them. I don't know how many Instagram accounts I have started and abandoned them because they have literally shadow banned me for simply being a truth channel. Like I have endured a severity of hardship because of the message that I speak by these social media platforms and 
trust me i'm not the only person making a mass exodus away from meta or facebook or instagram to x or even youtube or wherever it is else that i go when people walk away because they see that they are not allowed to speak over there ultimately a big honcho businessman is going to be like i'm sorry but like people are not ready for this coupled with the fact that i have not been comfortable all along with my behavior i am not going to be pressurized by the state to infringe on the freedoms of expression of people and mark zuckerberg is getting there he said it on the show yeah joe rogan that he is uneasy with censorship at present he spoke out he is becoming as bold as elon musk is bold all it took was for elon musk to stand his ground for mark zuckerberg to see where he's coming from oftentimes a group think mentality that has been supported and so therefore proliferated and uh positively reinforced will stay that way until there's one brave person that decides and the one brave person was elon musk do you know that the ceo of telegram was arrested in was it uk somewhere in europe he was was it romania i stand corrected he was arrested for allowing people to speak unfiltered on their platform the same country is trying to arrest elon musk that's the kind of stuff that a man like mark zuckerberg would look at from a distance and be like what they are arresting ceos for traveling to countries that have put a, a bounty essentially on their head countries that have put an arrest warrant on certain people if they travel abroad almost like they're war criminals you know how vladimir putin can't just travel to the us because right now there is like uh some kind of if you if you land on our shores we're gonna arrest you for crimes against humanity so you can't just easily travel to the us a similar thing is out in some european country against social media bosses that refuse to censor people they literally arrested the ceo of telegram and i spoke the other day that the ceo of telegram telegram is too small the social media um platform for me to make any kind of dent on it i'm not exactly amir sarfadi i need youtube i need facebook I need you get my point yeah i need these social media platforms uh, much bigger social media platforms to make any dent at all and right now twitter is the only place where any such thing can happen i spoke about that the other day yeah very well well uh if mark is, if mark zuckerberg is busy getting a little bit of a, a heartbeat where before it was nothing but stone cold ice um because of elon musk and because of the observation of the arrest of the telegram ceo <laughs> it's only a matter of time before now it's half and half it's a jewel do you understand between facebook and twitter versus youtube and tiktok it's it's only a matter of time what i told like <laughs> in order for god's people to be set free we don't need the mobbed group thinking rando psychotic batch of people that refuse to hearken to their consciences we don't need them to come around we don't need the whole concert the whole riotous marching crowd uh, outside of the in the life of an innocent woman we don't need all of them to come around all we need is the ceo of meta the ceo of x or the ceo of telegram or the ceo of youtube all we need is one pharaoh one pharaoh one pharaoh is all that is needed it's a set of people free so the arrogance of the group thinking majority that cost me my job and now people are threatening me with negative reinforcement to force me <laughs> to force me to essentially do that which i don't want to do telling me you're not going to get a job <laughs> unless you stop uploading on social media that's why i'm busy applying frantically anywhere else to get a job where people are not going to know what i do on youtube I i'm busy but you see the thing about it is i'm not getting called the thing about it is nobody's calling me the sad and disquieting thing about it is that i'm not getting in my, my job interview i am not getting helped along in my cause i i get call i'm not being phoned you all because i've got a gap in my cv people bang underestimate the bank because i was lied about at first i was lied about at first so i needed somebody that basically had inside knowledge of who i truly am and the lies spoken about me to pull in a favor for me but nobody is pulling in a favor for me so if no one pulls a favor for me on the outside if i don't get a job then what's gonna happen what do I say long guys if I don't get um seven? What's gonna happen? Let's let's communicate that. All that can happen now. If at all corporate South Africa still has shut its doors to me because of this group thinking mentality, all that can happen is for the miraculous repentance of YouTube, the miraculous repentance of Meta, the miraculous repentance of TikTok to basically allow me to thrive on social media until i can monetize like it's the only thing that i can get to a conclusion concerning that eventually <laughs> i had a dream three nights ago that i didn't believe 
where it is that I was basically getting new subscribers again on YouTube. I didn't believe it. I brushed it off and I'm still after phonetically applying for a job. But nobody will look at me because I've been disreputed. I've been reviled. I'm innocent, but don't nobody care because everybody can't be wrong. Nakona, why have you been unemployed for 10 years? You get. Mm. So if at all, then I'm not going to get a job in corporate South Africa. Where am I going to get my provision? I told you. The Lord, the way that he has been providing for me, <laughs> has been kamarinza for now. Like a child being given a mountain of pap with little gravy and one little mountwana, lentwana on a plate. It's not, it's not a lot. It's just enough. I've had just enough. Like at the time when I'm running off out of stuff, at the time when I'm running out of basic things like face cream, moisturizer or whatever, miraculously I'll get a donation or something. I, I, I get given hand to mouth, just enough. Like I said, not meat, just pap. And I'm suffering from Kwashi Yoko and I'm crying to God on some. Why can I not eat the delicacies on my plate that I want to eat? Why are you shoving so much pop down my throat? And God is telling me, you will see one day after you have grown up out of your seven years of age, 10 years of age, when now you're a teenager, how it is that your mom is now going to suddenly, all of a sudden start piling on your plate, two pieces of meat instead of one. You have to basically do the time as a child and be fed a mountain of pap and a dollop of gravy with lots of vegetables that don't make no sense at all. And you grow to a certain place before you can start to earn getting three pieces of chicken on your plate. And even then I say mount one. You've got to do the time. Right now, I am feeding you the way that a little toddler is fed. Like, just very boring food. Every so often you get a treat. Every so often you will get, like, a treat. A treat in the sense that you will be given ch chicken nuggets or you will go to McDonald's. Or I will give you, while I'm cooking dinner, like a piece of chicken. I will treat you, my child, but for the better majority, largely, you are going to endure the tyranny of seeing your dad have three pieces of chicken on his plate, seeing your mom have a, a well of gravy on her plate while you struggle with a dollop le papa ekim. I'm getting provided for by God just enough and it's made me very uncomfortable and it's made me grumble and i've been like god i need more meat i need more money i want to be able to buy a laptop i want to be able to do this and that and god has given me just enough and i trust him to keep on giving me just enough but the day is gonna arrive when i am now a big girl and i'm able to eat as much food as i want now i've got a job at some local restaurant as a waitress so i can buy myself takeout as a teenage girl while i'm in high school etc basically what i'm trying to explain to you guys is that do not look at my hand to mouth life and underestimate it do not look at how it is that i have literally just enough to get through the day like i'm barely making it yeah okay whatever i'm alive am i not i've basically survived <laughs> cancer curses i have survived age me overnight curses i hey guys where's the game the things that people have done i'm trying to find a better lighting since the sun has set i have survived a plethora of from people like some pretty bizarre curses i have survived and the reason I keep on surviving them is because God is the one that is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. He is the creator and not so much man. And those who worship creation are going to be met with come comeuppance. Are going to be met with comeuppance. So corporate South Africa, this I got to say to you, spit me out like bones of a chicken after chewing them as much as you want. But I belong to the right kingdom. The one that hearkens to its conscience. The one that does not just let the way that they feel it just like go over their head. People have been ignoring how bad they feel about what they're doing to me. Now it's just gotten so dark that I gotta go and find better sources of light, okay? People have been feeling really super terribly bad for how it is that they have treated me. And yet they have not done the appropriate thing. They have not appropriately responded. I think I should just rather... Mm, and this wind is, is really kind of taxing right now. Um, a lamp is uh, appearing to have enough of my back, but I, I want to be away from this wind. There's too much of a place. So, so let me just go back to the house in my car and sit there and continue to finish this. Uh, people have been ignoring. Okay, so I'm just going to talk until I get to the house because if I can... Uh, utilize the battery power then I will utilize the battery power I've been ignored do you understand and I keep on sending my CV out and it's not yielding fruit I am what's the word 
I'm disillusioned and I'm grieved and I'm scared that I'm not going to be okay. That I can't say that I've been sad about the fact that Twansi Kipka left uh, from so bottom a position in comparison to where I come from. But I've been trying to humble myself concerning it. I've been applying and applying and applying. Nothing is giving, okay? Nothing is giving. No one is calling me. No one is even like so much as sending me a response that your application has been unsuccessful. Nothing. Go to Lilinje. And I'm like, okay, so if at all this corporate South Africa has spat me out, <laughs> how does this end? Because I clearly cannot make a living being a content creator. I can't. Because I've been shadow banned. I've been closed. I've been closed in on all sides. By a crazy global citizenship. It's a crop circle. Like an alien invasion with a crop circle. I've got a crop circle on my land. And I don't even know what to do with this alien invasion of people calling good evil and evil good. An entire company of business project managers, business analysts, testers, and some members of the marketing team decided that my career needs to end. <laughs> the sad traps and administrators. A couple of years ago, they made a decision to Utimina. I don't deserve to work anymore. And it's been 10 years ever since then. And I'm looking at God and I'm like, are you gonna let these people drive me to suicide? Are you gonna let Labantulaba drive me to the end of myself? Is this what's gonna happen? And then I open my eyes to recognize that Mark Zuckerberg is getting a pulse even though he was dead before i open my eyes and i recognize that elon musk already got this for us i open my eyes and i realize that maybe youtube will follow suit i don't know but y'all are naive those of you who look at my case and think that i'm going nowhere to think that god needs a conglomerate of circus animals that have been treating his daughter like trash to repent you don't have to repent all i need is like i said mark zuckerberg all i need is elon musk all i need is youtube somebody that is big like a pharaoh has to repent and that's all that it will take for me to have a social media career that's all that it will take all the censorship at some point Maybe, just maybe, that might be the thing that ultimately recovers. Tinabangi, that are not able to get a word in. A word in. You are naive, like entirely and comprehensively, to think we've been to think of us as the body of Christ, as these forsaken, abandoned, left things, is entirely naive. First and foremost, we are right. Right, y'all. We are the ones that are in right standing with God. We are the ones that did not allow reward of wickedness to sway our behavior in jesus christ we ish where's where's the best position to gain the best lighting lana because manji i am very very disquieted by what's going on lana got lighting but i'll ultimately be okay we are the ones that have chosen to do what is right in spite of the torrent of hardship because we worship a god we know exists who is invisible however absolutely present and he is disinterested in that we should keep on capitulating to the whims of a wicked human race that is completely ignoring its conscience like <laughs> you you can ignore your conscience for so long but like mark zuckerberg at some point while you sleep in your bed at night it'll hold you. and like i said i do not need everybody that's ever hurt me to do better by me all i need is the right man or the right woman i get to seven it's a that family member i got several examples that every so often clicks on my videos and develops hostilities hey guys have you ever worked under a boss that you don't know when saying joe you are you can't please them you can't like you can bend over back you can walk on water you can bring in hundreds of thousands of millions of rands in business deals and this person will still have something bad to say about you in the appraisal. I had my fair share of those kinds of bosses when I was on the come up. And I get what's on my and make it look all one that is also a member of my family. Like I'm, I'm not going to be told in an appraisal that I could do better here and there when I'm even in a job that is lowlier than where it is that I come from before. I'm not going to be insulted like that. I am working tooth and nail to try and get another job. But if I don't understand, nobody is going to threaten me with negative reinforcement saying that, I will give you a job insofar as you shut up on social media. Nobody is going to put duct tape on my mouth. I already spoke about that. But also, if at all I don't get a 9 to 5, because I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the house.
apparently and allegedly, uh, allegedly I need them. If I don't get a nine to five, guys, what then is gonna give? I told you. Listen, okay, I pray in tongues all night these days, staying awake. Last, last night I even stayed awake up until 6 a.m. in the morning. Risking my rest, right? Yeah. In order to alleviate or eradicate from the prospect of ending up right where I started. I do not want to find myself back in corporate South Africa under the same level of tyranny that I endured on the come up. If you guys have had those bosses that literally you can do nothing good in the presence of, they will always find something wrong that you are doing. You will literally, you can never be okay improving that's going to cause this woman or this man to decide to give you an appropriate appraisal score i have had my fair share of crazy bosses do you understand that i could never impress no matter what i do i'm not about to return to that space but this time around i'm under a family member like i'm not doing it if at all i can be this severely surveilled before i can even start the job honey what in the world is gonna happen like i'm lamenting like this because of disrespect ne? that i am getting coming from members of my family because it's giving off this glare members of my family there's something that's making them constantly just harass me with witchcraft because i'm not going to be disgusted do you understand chicken mayo. I shouldn't be eating chilies because they said so. And the only person that has raised me from being a child to a whole grown woman, spiritually, responsibly rewarding me appropriately for my good works. Kimudim. And I pray to him night and day, night and day. How about Toko sometimes scared because he knows what I fear. I pray to him to basically not let me end up in that grain again. God is the one that shuts doors and opens them. I'm not gonna lie, but one thing that is true is that I I've been guys, guys, disrespect, ne? disrespect. I keep on getting the door for dreams about my family members. Making me walk uh, like bang sevi, but like it's almost like they had tethered me. It's like they had tethered me with a leash and they had comprehension that bang sore pohojwal. There's no way that these women and men would feel ingati I am in their clutch unless there is someone making them feel ingati I'm in their clutch. Y'all need to understand my family, if at all I had gotten myself a job through any other employer perspective out here in these South African streets. And they are flailing in front of me and they keep on casting spells on me to tether me. Kiba Lora Kerregao fella from all age groups, including the ones by matriculating my lebanya namona. I want to have got a sense of control that they feel over me. They feel ingati. They've got on my There's no way that they would feel ingati. They've got me under their skin. Like yesterday, I dreamt about some cousin of mine that used to be a best friend literally following me around where i was shopping buying stuff and my mom and sister was there what is she doing here she was monitoring me how through my mom and my sister and through something she felt like she could monitor me through you know these cloaking spells the lord has been showing me that i'm doing cloaking spells to hide intention and among them are wicked women but also wicked men there is trust chilling in the bones of people that i am controllable somehow they got this they got this they thoroughly believe that they got me under their skin they that they got me under their skin that but i can only reach one conclusion <laughs> i am not going to be tethered do you understand what i'm saying as with a noose around my neck by people who feel ingati I'm at an arm's length, like one eh, an invisible one at that, that is around my neck. There is an invisible rope that is tethering me to them. I already spoke volumes about this the other day saying, Hore, I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I
to have a boss treat you like wait see, like i keep here oh, guys even this thing that's happening oh no no right now i don't know what to do whatever i'll speak over koloyans and bz irever all up in my grill because my family do strange things you they do strange, strange stuff. The other day she was allowed. And I was doing this message. And then the other day she deleted my content on my phone. Hoping. But then I was able to recover it. This is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about, y'all. I'm trying to run away from this. This is what I'm trying to run away from. I'm trying to Right? I'm doing this video. That's the kind of stuff that's going on. I need to escape this situation. I need to get out of this circumstance. Do you understand what I'm saying? All together. Like, y'all need to understand, like, hey, guys, I cannot be tethered to people who feel in Gati. Ah, my buttock. We are Revenge, Mvagwam. I know Reva, baby, sang this thing. We are going to miss you. For any way, I can say. For any way, I can say. I don't want to get into it. I'm going to keep on it. You know, what do you call this? Bravado. That men get. Where I'm concerned when they look at stuff like that. Yo, guys. We see disrespect. Disrespect. Of Tabao Rikimoto. Go fella or fella. Mosadi or fella. Mosadi go fella. Or hoodie. Can I live for it? And people want to tether me. The Bible says do not consider it strange when you go through trials of different kinds. And this is the kind of strange stuff that goes down. I start to record a video. I start to record a video. I start to record a video. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. I start to record. This level of surveillance. This level of demonic possession. That induces this kind of surveillance. I'm not going to do deal with it. I am not going to deal with it. Like y'all need to understand, I am not going to deal with this level of surveillance. When I list something, there is something that my family members are bewitching the living daylights out of me because of. When I to there is something they are trusting. And all I can conclude is that to connection through one of them. I've been praying like a dog day and night. Kesa robale, ma bani ke chilo kara ke robete ka half past ka six mo saying. This morning, I only slept at six in the morning because I just could not stop praying. And yesterday, I did a video speaking about how it is that if at all a daughter of the living God prays against you, not yesterday, but one of the videos that I did, I was listening to it yesterday. However, if a child of God is, if a child of God is always praying for deliverance from you, umoma tate. You're in danger. If God's daughter or God's son, Golden Sensa Roman, not Romans, but Revelation 8, to a point where he's going to pour them out on the earth as a judgment in the tribulation. That, that's just like. I'm doing a video right now. And this is the kind of stuff that I endure. It's the kind of stuff that I endure. This is like, like, I am not going to have, like, Papa, if I were to get a job, do you understand? It has to be somewhere where no one knows who I am. No one. It's but like, y'all have had those bosses, right? You have. You have experienced that before, right? A woman or a man under whose leadership, largely it's been actually women, but I've also uh, experienced this at the hands of men. Male, uh, 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 bosses type establishment thing. How? Literally, there will be nothing that you can do you can float you can be in the sky like a helium balloon you can walk on water you can speak 20 different languages and appease every client to the best of their satisfaction and there will be nothing that will get you an appropriate appraisal score in spite of how much you do and imagine i am there is this like gargantuan risk gawking at me yo guys the level of surveillance like i just i can't yes well yo that's like it I am being eavesdropped on. I get to I don't even know what to do. I don't like closing my door. I came out to my The stuff that I'm saying right now, I'm, I'm not even ready to share it. That's what y'all need to understand. I can only upload this content online once I have a job. Like once I have a job. 
so none of these people have uh, can ever be privy of this. Y'all know what it's like to have to, to be under a, a boss as a subordinate. Oi tsengore, o go keep a mo LinkedIn for 10 years. Like proper, they have determined ukuthi wena uzo bloma in the same job for 10 years. Everyone that comes in and goes, but you're train. You're going to be the one to train them and then move on. It's horrible. It's horrible. Out of my entire career, <laughs> those kinds of bosses made up like 75% of my bosses. Banjan, people that just don't want their subordinates to, to do well for whatever reason, it's rough. And with that pain, I took it to God. There was a time when I prayed on Psalm 37, speaking about how the wicked thrive. Because Bosiaka had given me a whack appraisal.